So today I'm finally gonna be installing the four link on the truck. All right, so today I'm gonna put on uh, the pieces for the four link. Um, here's a little overview of everything. You get the, the bag shock mounts, you get double billow bags, shocks, all the hardware to mount everything. You get the, the beam. Um, there's the, the links, one mounts there, one mounts underneath, there, underneath. And then those are the mounts that go to the, the front leaf spring. So now that I got the underside all uh, coated, ready to go. All right, I'm gonna start with the, uh, the, the front mounts, do those. All right, so the rear bags, they have these two bolts. Two bolts, one bolt on the bottom. This is the bracket that attaches up top. The shock atta attaches here, and then the bag attaches there, like so. Um, what I plan on doing is I have these 90 degree elbows. I plan on putting one of these on and it's going to come out the back for now. Um, I'm going to put do this on both sides so then I can uh, um, temporarily air it up if I need to. I have some, uh, some T fittings that I got when I got these fittings and then I have some little uh, nipple, Schrader nipple fittings that I plan on using. So I can air up the rear if I want to, and I'll probably do the same on the front until I get management and uh, a better setup, but this is what I'm gonna do temporarily. Alright, so now I can grab these lines. Grab these lines, and then I have this T fitting. Plug these in. And then I have a small line here. And then this end, I can put a Schrader valve. So then this, I can. Uh, This I could pump this up if I need need to, and I could pump the bags up. This is just temporary. This is only so if I want to, I can mess around with the the bags as they are. 
but yeah, this is just temporary. it all installed. Um, I ended up to get the last bolts in to get the last bolts in for uh, the bag I ended up dropping the lower arms down so then I could get the uh, the bolts in and then once I got the bolts the bolts in the bottom of the bags then I adjusted the arms um, I can't remember whether it was in or out to get it to, to line back up with the, the beam so I have the beam here, it's basically the bags are deflated all the way, all the way up. And I have my crude jack here. And then that's deflating it. The kit also comes with uh, these custom brake lines. These clips are mine that are in there, but the, the actual brake lines themselves, they're, they're hoses. They go from the, they go from where it connects up there. The hose then goes to the brakes. I haven't installed the, uh, the spindles or the, the backing plate yet. It comes with the bolts also to install the, the backing plate and the spindle. And then it also has the drop plates. Um, he'll build whatever camber you want. I think I went with negative two degrees. He's done like um, crazy negative five, whatever, but I'm not going that crazy cambered. And then uh, he'll also do the beam, the length, whatever you want. He has like a standard one which he built for his truck and then he bases all of his, all of his numbers off of that. Forgot to add there is uh, also adjustment on the, um, the, the four link bars uh, so you can adjust them to center the wheel when you have uh, everything put together and the wheel on you can adjust the, the bars to center, center the wheel up. Um, I plan on doing all that once I get the brake stuff and everything on so then I can try to, to center the wheel up but I also will need to get it aligned and all that stuff so I'll worry about that stuff later. I'll like set it as best I can and then yeah I'll do, do all that stuff later. All in all the uh, install was uh, pretty easy. Um, just trying to figure out how to do everything is the hardest part like how everything goes um once you cut the brackets off which i have somewhere once you cut the uh, front um leaf spring brackets off the rest is pretty simple um i did that in a video back so if you look back a couple you'll see how i did it um but but yeah the install was pretty straightforward um also i ended up putting the uh, roll pan on so the roll pan is on now I ended up uh, welding across the top it's kind of hard to see but I weld across the top and I'm gonna go back and uh, I ended up
putting some of that uh, rust encapsulator on over the weld and I'm going to go back and um, seam seal this area just so it's nice and cleaned up good. And then uh, once I do that, then I'll probably just clean it up and it'll get painted the color of the truck when I get to doing that. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked to have the, uh, the four link on. But I highly recommend uh, one of the Scenic kits if you're looking at getting a, a four link. Um, I really like it. It didn't take him but maybe three or four weeks max. Um, and this was when uh, uh, the whole Corona lockdown was going on. So I basically let him know what I wanted and he started building on it. And then, yeah, it's, he ships it right to me, everything. And uh, he drop shipped all the bolts and the bags and the shocks separate. So then, yeah, all the hardware, everything ready to go. But yeah, I highly recommend the Scenic kit. Um, I was looking at the Eurowise one, but I wasn't too big on it. Um, just off of the, the pan bar, I'm not too big on the pan bar. Um, plus, I just like this one. I've always liked this one ever since he made his first one way back when for his truck. So, But yeah, anywho, thanks for watching. Um, keeping the progress going. So. Hopefully I can start getting into paint now. I just have to order the, the primer and then uh, the uh, body filler and all that so I can get going on it and actually uh, um, fill in every, all the areas that the imperfections are and from my welding and whatnot. So, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.